Hello everyone. Um, I just said I'd make another video there about, you know, in relation to the stabbing that went on last Thursday against an Irish Catholic priest outside an army barracks up in Galway. You know, most of you have obviously heard about this. This is not new news. But I just want to talk about this and related stuff in kind of a wider context what's happening in Ireland, you know? And uh, I'm currently listening to an audible book from Taylor Marshall. He's a ex-Protestant minister, no turn Catholic, and he's after writing a few books. One of them is um, it's called Infiltration, and it's about, you know, the Catholic Church being infiltrated by Freemasons and communists over the years, and, you know, it, it, was, it was designed to destroy the church and, by extension, the faith from within, you know, because... Um, any other time that the church was attacked from without, we'd say, you know, it, it just it just propagated the the growth of Christianity. So they had to do it from from within. Um, sorry, I don't know. I'm just keeping an eye on the traffic lights here, you know. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so. We're starting to see a rise in Islamic-related attacks around Ireland. And the first one that comes to mind, I think it was, was it New Year's Day 2018, I think it was, an attack on a Japanese student where he was stabbed to death by an Egyptian guy. That was put down to mental health, of course. And um, then, of course, the next one that I recall was the two gay guys in Sligo who got beheaded and mutilated, you know. No, we're we're starting to see, you know, attacks on our own clergy, you know. And I think this is happening because there is a wider agenda, you know, with other groups with common interests to destroy the West, its culture its fate and then eventually its very people and i'm going to name out these groups here now because they do have a lot in common right but one striking thing they have in common is um they're all anti-christian so if you read up about the freemasons they detest christ they hate christ the left communists hate christianity especially catholicism but Christianity in, in general and of course Islam claim to believe in Jesus but it's it's not they they don't think he's he's a divine being so that in itself is a, a denigration of what Christ is you know and when you try and explain to a Muslim yes that Christ was the son of God you know Sometimes the mask will slip a bit and they get quite angry about it. Now, Islam, its very inception back in the 7th century, was drenched in blood. This guy called Muhammad allegedly had some revelations from the angel Gabriel and you know, taught him to... I know to recite the Quran and the angel made him learn the Quran and then you know he started pulling Muhammad that is after taking verses from the Torah and and the Bible and incorporating it into this new book he was trying to put together for this new religion and the first 13 years where, where he was trying to get this religion off the ground he was you know all very nice there was only a handful of followers it was like a really small cult I'm not sure if that was in Mecca or Medina, but either either, okay? So, eventually, anyway, after that length of time, after 13 years was over, the mask slipped with Muhammad, and when he had enough people, he went and he started attacking, uh, we say, the local pagan tribes in Saudi Arabia. And that led from one victory to the next victory, and as, of course, Islam grew 
call it the tip of the sword, you know. Then they started turning on the small Christian communities that were starting to take root in Saudi Arabia. And they turned in a big way on the Jewish community that were living in the, on the peninsula as well. Um, where even one day, Muhammad himself is alleged to have beheaded 600 male Jewish prisoners whom he had earlier defeated in battle from boys as young as, I suppose, who were just starting puberty to, um, you know, to men, 600 in one day. And, you know, the rest is history, I suppose. Um, and it has been drenched in blood ever since. You know, Muslims are taught to, uh, I suppose, you know, look up to Muhammad and he's the perfect man and all that and, you know, to try and emulate him, you know. So that would explain all the jihadi attacks that happen around the world because Muhammad married Aisha when she was nine. It also explains why they, some Muslims, not all of them, but some of them, still marry girls as young as nine you know it, it's like you know they're, they're just trying to emulate the prophet who to them is the perfect man you know so that's just a kind of a, a very brief simplistic explanation as to why islam is the way it is and why some practitioners of the religion do still kind of carry on some of the traits that muhammad had but what you have here in Ireland, if this is the case, if, if what I'm reading is true, is that you have this kind of trinity of not so good stuff, evil I would say, of you know, communism, Freemasonry and Islamism coming together like a bunch of uh, anti-heroes or supervillains to try and take down the West, you know? and. Um, you know, of course, it's all being propped up and propagated by our government, you know. So, I suppose what I'd like to say is, in a nutshell, that, you know, however bad these guys are coming into the country, you know, who, who perpetrate these acts, you know, you have to remember that, I suppose, who are worse than them are the people in power in this country. That's where the true evil lies. That's where the most unadulterated evil lies. And that's in the Dáil, in the Irish Parliament, in the government, and in their fake opposition. Because none of this would be happening in our country only for these people, you know? You know, there's, as we know, the NGO class are riddled not ran by communists. Um, Freemasonry, so-called secret society, I'd say a lot of the top-ranking politicians and you know, councillors in this country are probably involved or were coerced to joining the Freemasons a long time ago. And actually there's, there's Freemason lodges all over Ireland, so it's not it's not some kind of a, a weird conspiracy made up stuff. It, they are there, they are a thing, you know. And of course, the Islamists, you know. I mean, if we had a correctly functioning nation, right, the right thing to do would be to not bring these people in at all. But they're being brought in, even though the havoc they're causing is quite apparent. So if, if they're being brought in and they're causing havoc and they're not being turfed out, well, that tells me then that the government want them to cause this havoc. Which is what I'm trying to explain here is that our government are part of this trilogy of hate or trinity of hate, whatever you want to call it, you know, take down Irish culture, you know. It's the same in Britain, it's the same in France, you've the same bad actors, you know, communists, possible Freemasons and definitely Islamists working in every nation, you know, in from North America to Western Europe, parts of Eastern Europe, Australia, New Zealand, the same bad players the whole time, 
you know, um, causing all these problems, you know. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, you know, we're, we're going to, and you know what? Um, second there now. The thing that kind of annoys me too is, you know, I went to Mass last Saturday night and the priest did not even mention it, you know, because the Vatican, as far as I'm concerned, has been infiltrated as well. And, you know, it's its only job. <laughs> the job of the Vatican now is to destroy the Catholic faith, believe it or not. It was, it was once um, a place where it was propagated from. But like I said... It's been infiltrated, you know. So, yeah, that's my rent for this evening. I just thought I'd get that off my chest. Um, you know, but I, I would I would say to any clergy in Ireland, you need to stand up for our faith. You are the shepherds. We are the flock. You're meant to lead. You're meant to lead us, you know. And, uh, you know, they've been very quiet on the Olympics. No, they've been really, really quiet on... Um, on this attack as well, you know, because they they've been well warned from on high in the Vatican not to mention it, you know. Same as the government have probably, you know, done the same thing. So yeah, um, that's it for another day, folks. God bless, and uh, I will talk to you all soon.